the reason why the Bargo River doesn't have any fish is because a real long time ago, the um, men were getting quite bored. It was a lovely, hot, sunny day. They were resting on the platform near the river. And one of them saw all the fish in the river and he thought, wow, I wonder what happens if I bang the water. And bang the water and all the fish swam away. And then he, um, they came back and he banged it again. This is fun. So he grabbed a bit of wood and he went bang on the water. And the fish went away. And then after a while they came back again. And he thought, this is fun. He woke up his mates and they started doing the same thing by chasing the fish away and then letting them come back and chasing them away. So they got bored. Men are like that. They get bored so easily. And one of the men decided to get a branch and he got a branch and he sharpened the end of it. And he threw it in the water. And he speared a fish. And he brought the fish out and the men saw it and they tasted it and it was beautiful. So they, they all made a spear and threw it at the fish and they killed the fish and ate it. But it was fun. So they started just killing the fish for fun, tossing the poor dead bodies up onto the, onto the rock shelf until there were no fish left. Now, every river has a fishwoman, the mother of the fish. And this time, the fishwoman was way upstream. She came back down. She couldn't find her children anywhere. And she searched in all the nooks and the crannies and the pothole. And she looked up on the rock shelf where the men were. And they were still sleeping. And there was all her children just rotting in the sunlight. And she became very, very angry. But she also became very clever. And she woke one of the men up and she said, are you hungry? And he said, yes. And she said, well, I have a feast in my home. Would you like to visit me? And of course, the man thought, wow, this is a good idea. And he followed her down into the deepest pothole. She came back up again. Next man twigged his toe and said, want to come with me? Your mate's down here. And he's having a good time. So he followed her. Then she came back up again. And she did this again and again until there were no men left. Now, the women who were camped up in a nearby creek came down looking for the men. And they couldn't find them anywhere. They found all the rotting fish on the bank and they thought, I wonder what has happened. So they banged the surface of the water and the fish woman came up and they asked her, have you seen our men? And she said, yes, I have devoured them completely. They have killed all my children and therefore I have killed them. And the women were very upset and they said, well, Please, may we have the spirits of our men back? And the fishwoman said, no. They dishonoured my children. They dishonoured them in death. You may not have them back. Now, the women could understand why she killed the men. But what they couldn't understand was that she would not allow their spirits to go free so they could continue on their journey. And so they went to the spirit of the bush, the, the creator spirit. And they said to her, we want the spirits of our children back. Will you help us? And of course, the creator spirit agreed. So she went to the fish woman and she said, return the spirits of the men to the women. And the fish woman refused. And there was an argument and the creator spirit caused a big storm to come and she caused the lightning to create a huge hole in the river and the storm washed the fish woman into the huge hole and she's trapped there to this day just waiting for a man to come along so she could devour him completely and that is why 
we should not waste either life or food. We should not waste anything. We should take only what we need. Otherwise, some terrible thing will happen. And the fish woman, because she's caught in this hole, cannot make the fish for the river. And that is why the Bargo River has no fish. And that is to remind us that waste is a terrible, terrible thing. <laughs>